Did you know that if you don't have market data for your stock trading, then you're likely trading about 15 minutes behind the actual market, which can cost you big dollars. Stay tuned to see what market data is and the exact market data subscriptions that you need for your options trading with interactive brokers. Hi, I'm Andrew Ferguson, and I make videos about helping you learn how to invest in real estate, stocks, crypto, and yourself. I've spent thousands of hours and dollars learning how investing works, and I'm paying it forward to you. So if this sounds like your jam, consider subscribing. Well, today we're talking about market data subscription with Interactive Brokers, TWS. This is the platform that I use and teach people how to use in my stock trading course. When you're looking at options or just investing in general, you need to have real-time data so you know you're trading up to the minute of what the market is doing. Otherwise, you can leave money on the table or not get as much bang for your buck when you enter a trade. Market data subscriptions, on the other hand, allow you to get the actual data and information in real time and make decisions on a boom, boom, second by second basis. Let's dive into the Interactive Brokers online platform and show you what exact settings you need to have when you're trading options with Interactive Brokers. So this is the actual Interactive Brokers online portal for market data subscriptions on the actual website. If you wanna know how to get there, make sure you check out this latest video up here in the top right of how to get there step-by-step. Step. Once you're here, you actually have the list of subscriptions here on the left-hand side. I'm trading here in North America. So these are subscriptions that I use. If you're also trading here in the US, Canada, Mexico, these are subscriptions you're going to use as well. For people in other countries, you're going to lose similar ones. We have to figure out what those are. This is for North America only. So these ones here, a lot of them actually have a charge. I'm going to go through the ones that actually cost money. The ones that don't or have a fee waived, I don't really understand or use. But the ones that I do know are here, the ones that you need to have for interactive brokers and options trading are the ones listed here. I'll go through them one by one right now. The first one here being Montreal derivatives. If you are in Canada and you want to trade options contracts on any kind of stock in Canada, you have to have the Montreal derivatives on and it has to be that $7 per month. Canadian, again, if this year in the US, you're going to have different kind of fee structure. If you're in the US and only trade in US companies, you don't need Montreal derivatives. That is for Canadian companies only. Next up, we have the NASDAQ, which means you'll be paying one fifty a month to be able to actually trade stocks that are part of the NASDAQ instead of the actual New York Stock Exchange, which is the next one on the list, which is NYSC, New York Stock Exchange. Those two are the big ones you're going to need to make any kind of trade in the US on US-based companies. If you, Even if you're just buying and selling shares, you're going to need to have NASDAQ or New York Stock Exchange on and paid for. It's not a lot. It's only three bucks a month. But if you don't do that, and you go to buy those stocks or kind of trade options, you're not going to have the up-to-date data. It could be where you're trying to buy a stock at $50, the market crashes down to 30, and you just pay $50 for a stock that's only worth $30. So you're going to lose out on money there. You lose out on options contracts as well if you don't have those two things turned on. Next one, and this is a big one. If you're going to do options trading at all in the US, you have to have the Oprah US Options Exchange. And you see this here, if you have commissions worth more than $20 USD. This actually gets waived, but it's $1.50 per month and you have to have that on if you want to trade options at all in the US. Now, the next one, Paxos, I don't use, I don't know what that is. It's Toronto Stock Exchange, pretty self-explanatory here in Canada. If you want to trade stocks in Canada on the Toronto TS, TSE, TSX, have to have the Toronto Stock Exchange on there. And I do a little bit of trading here for uh, Canadian companies. So I have that $9 fee in Canada. So Mutual funds I don't use, but it's actually waived. Some of these will actually be waived just because you fund your account. They're actually going to give this data to you as a starter. And uh, non-consolidated streaming, I don't know what that is, but I don't use it either. It just use these kind of big ones. One, two, three, four, five. And that gives you a grand total. Right? There's a couple more here. Europe, global, FX. And it gives you a total of $22 per month that I actually get billed every single month. And again, remember... To get this market data subscription set up, you need to actually fund your account and put money in to actually, they can take that 2214 out with. Otherwise you won't have access to any of these things. Now, if you don't have any of these in here already, we need to go through and actually add them in. If you want to go and do that, you just have to go down and understand that there is no current pending charges. So we're gonna go up and we're going to actually click this gear icon here to configure. We're gonna go in. And then if you're any kind of region, North America, South America, and, and any other ones, you can go through to actually pick out different kind of things there. But if you're in here, it'll show you when the subscriptions you have in certain sections, but most of them are in level one here. Right again, we have some Canadian ones. We're going to scroll down, scroll down, scroll down. You see Montreal derivatives right here, seven bucks. NASDAQ as well, New York Stock Exchange, Oprah, the Options Exchange, and Toronto Stock Exchange right there. So the big ones that you're going to pay for, mutual funds is, is waived. It's free, so it's on. The big ones that you're going to look for are in that first kind of column. I've got nothing in level two, fixed income, nothing. We're going to close that off. And other, there's a couple of free ones in here that are in there, fee waived, fee waived, that I don't actually use, but they're in there just because they're free. So again, once you have your kind of changes on, if you want to actually change something or pick one, if I was to click this, you go down to the bottom then, and it's going to actually give you the option, sorry, at the top to configure. Let's click on one more. 
And if we're gonna add that on, it should pop up at the bottom here to continue. It'll ask you if you're gonna actually add those on and boom, charge a time of activation. If you click continue one more time, it's going to actually activate these market data subscriptions and turn them on. You can also go back and turn them off if you want to. I'm gonna go back here because I don't wanna set these up. But if you do make a mistake and you actually turn something on you don't want to do, you may get charged for a month because it's gonna happen in real time and quick, but you can also take it off right away and it'll only be there for a month. So it's a small mistake, right? So go back, I'm not gonna do this, but then again, if you wanna review what you have, I'm gonna go on save, discard changes, and it'll come back here to your kind of account setting overview and you'll see exactly what options market data subscriptions you have for options trading, for the stock market in Canada, for the stock market in the US. Again, only take on what you need. Try to keep those fees as low as possible. That's the whole reason we use interactive brokers in the first place is to keep the fees low. So that is the interactive brokers market data subscriptions in a nutshell for options trading. If you guys want to understand the best kind of way to start options trading and actually start as a beginner level investor, check out this video series right here or right here. I can't remember which one it is, but this will get you started and give you the basics on how stocks are valued, how to understand what options are, how to actually look for good companies, how to pick good companies and good chart reading to actually see when companies are on sale, when they're overvalued, when might be the best time for you to actually get in the market. It's all there in this playlist right here, stock options for beginners. Thank you for watching the video. Smash the like button if you got some value here today. My name is Andrew. Please consider subscribing if you guys liked the video today and I'll catch you guys on the next one.